Hello reformers and welcome back to 108 Heroes. Now we are here at Henan because we are about to go in and speak to, I believe his name is Zheng, Zheng, Zheng Tu. And uh, well, here's the thing, I've, I've actually already gone in here to, uh, to find where he is. He's actually in the tavern and we've already spoken to him previously in the series. You may have remembered him for his delectable appetite. Mm, yes, it's the cannibal. Yes, it's the cannibal. Ah, so you are Zhen Guanxi, the legendary one. Absolutely. <laughs> What's your business? All right. So Chancellor Hong told me to find you, to find him, you, whatever, for testing my mind reading. So let me have a try. Ah, why? My head is so painful. There must be a knot in your heart. Just speak it out. It always keep hating Lu Shishen. Why didn't I attack him first at that moment? Why didn't I kill him with my first slash? Why? Why? All right, well, uh, help him. Oh, dear. We have a cleaver. And, oh, we've got to help him. All oh, right, okay, I see. Interesting. This is very interesting. Uh, hey, get back here. Oh, what? What? That guy is insane. Why is he so good? Why is he so good? Okay, come on. Die now. Come on. I can't block, by the way, with this weapon. There is no blocking with this weapon. So it is just a matter of being very lucky. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so look, look. I'm pressing right click right now. I don't know whether you can hear my clicks. My mouse is pretty loud, so maybe you can, maybe you can't. But anyway, the point is, is that you can't block with that weapon. That was really, really close. Okay, so let's actually go in and speak to him once again. Maybe he's going to have something else to say to us now. Uh, okay, so, hi, name. Although I don't know what had happened before, I felt that I had beaten Lu Zhishen with my own strength. Anyway, thank you very much. To express my gratitude to you, I will inform all my chain traders in the kingdom that the price of prisoners will be lifted according to their ranks. Meanwhile, there may be no extra benefit if you sell prisoners directly to me, but someday I will reciprocate your great kindness to me. Ah, with my pleasure. So that's how mind reading works. But nothing happened to the holy book, meaning that he is not the chosen one. It seems I shall resolve the emotional entanglement for 108 heroes of Leong's legend. Right, so if we decide to give more and more prisoners to this fellow, eventually he's going to give us something in the future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my sea looters and a couple of bandits to him, and then I'm going to sell the, the rest to a regular ransom broker if I can find one. Obviously, Ransom Brokers, I, I've actually found quite a few Ransom Brokers over my journeys throughout the land down here, because obviously, as I said in the previous episode, I was going to go to three or four different towns before heading, heading down, and I actually found this guy, who just so happens to be a pretty good trader, decent spotter, tracker, etc. And I also found this fellow. And he's on a he's on a horse, so we should probably retag him as cavalry. That's pretty good. This guy, uh, both of them, by the way, cannot use the armor that I have saved in my inventory. They don't have uh, they don't have eleven strength, so that's kind of unfortunate. But that's just how it is at the moment. All right. So what do we have to do now? Let's have a look. Oh, okay. I see. Go and use mind reading to help one hundred and eight heroes. So we basically have every single vassal, or at least I would think, every single vassal in the entirety of the game to solve their problems. And this, I gotta say, I feel like this is really amazing. I, I really love these kinds of objectives because it's basically saying to you, hey, you, you can do this, you know, you can do this and you can get, you know, uh, more benefits and so on and so forth from from completing these things, but you don't have to do it. You know, it's not like a, a necessity. Yes, you know, if you want to progress the main story, of course, then it's a, it's a good way to go about things. But if you don't want to and you just want to build up your army or, you know, expand some particular faction's territory or whatever the case may be, then you can do that too, which I think is really cool. Anyway, uh, hmm. Someone actually said something to me in the comments. Oh dear, uh, you, you, I think you said something like, I think it was this guy, Featherless Arrow, I think that guy is actually the one you mentioned, it might be, or it might be someone else, the titles are very 
very cool in my opinion, but they are quite confusing because there are so many. So it might be that this is the one that I need to speak to. I think this gives us something. So where is this guy from? Let's have a look. So he is the Lord of Daming. So we will go. Oh, it's actually not even that far away. Fantastic. Okay, let's go over there. I don't think we're at war against the Zhao. No, we are not at war against the Zhao. Oh, dear. Dajin Knight. Yes. Stay away from me, Dajin Knights. Thank you. Goodbye and good luck. <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's an airplane reference, I believe. That was a while ago that, that came out. I wasn't alive then. Yes. Anyway, let's uh, let's see if I can maybe. You know what? Let's try and find a ransom broker. Let's try and find a ransom broker. I think that would be quite nice because then we can actually see how much Sea Raiders actually sell for, and then we can see whether it's actually worth our time. Mm, okay, I'm actually going to do this first. What is the matter, my good man? Right. So yes, I will help you. Okay. So the the village is nearby. Over here. Oh yeah. Uh, by the way. Thank you very much for all of your tips in the comments as well, because someone actually said to me that you are, as a vassal, able to recruit a number of people as a patrol. Now, this costs gold, and it also costs renown. Unfortunately, I only have, for some unknown reason, but I only have one unit available for that particular thing. So I, I don't know why that is. I don't know why I only have one, but I thought that it would be a bit pathetic to create a patrol out of one unit so I decided to leave it but uh, who knows maybe we'll have a, a, an easier time in the future if we are able to uh, you know expand our our influence our power and so on and so forth now these flowery looters they're gonna die very quickly or at least I hope so wow he already got defeated not not my face <laughs> yes uh, you're not that pretty you're not that pretty sir you don't, you don't need to worry about being hit in the face. Or is he? Maybe he is. Who knows? But uh, yes, our female tiger is absolutely amazing. She's doing a fantastic job as per usual. Look at that. She has six kills already. And speaking of that, I'm going to be looking around in the marketplace as well for the, uh, the ability to upgrade our units. Because obviously at the moment I do have this, uh, this weapon right now. But what I would like to do is I would like to see if I can maybe get this weapon for all of our companions. Because it's actually very accessible. As you can see right here, it's only 10 strength. It's pretty nice, right? Yeah, pretty nice. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. But if not, then it's not really a big deal, I suppose. I just hope that my faction does not declare war against the Zhao as I am making my way over there. But let's have a look. Where is a village two-hander. Well, there is actually a two-handed battle scythe, which actually might, uh, you know, it's not as good. It doesn't have a bonus against shields and so on and so forth, so I won't be doing that. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I do have these things here. I'm going to sell this sandal for some reason. I don't know why that's there. And did I go into here? Yeah, I already went in there. Okay, well, that's absolutely fine. Let's just continue onward to the town that he owns. And we will see if we can find him, because obviously maybe he's not even there. So we are going to need to ask a couple of people. Whoa, step bandits. Okay. Those guys are crazy. As you can see, they're, they're insane. Okay. Let me see. Let me see something real quick. Maybe we can actually do something here. Ah, uh, I only have 12 sky marksmen. They actually do become sky archers after that as well. Whoa, they actually become sky archer masters. How many times do these guys level up? They're crazy. Okay, well... I was actually thinking that maybe we should attack these step bandits. 111 of them is a bit too much, though, maybe. And, oh dear. Yes, these guys are having a bit of a problem. Okay, so I'm actually going to side with the fellow with the title, because the other guy doesn't have a title, and this guy is actually really good at trading. So it would be pretty good to side with him, I suppose. So I will just say that this guy has my support. They're going to be warring and saying all kinds of things to each other. Uh, it's going to be kind of annoying. Oh, well, maybe I should just tell one of them to leave already, but... Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe maybe, we, maybe we'll find the other companion that is actually not, you know, annoying them. And uh, maybe they, they'll, you know, work it out or something. Anyway, uh, hmm, may, do we want to get another shield? 
don't think we want to get another shield, but we do want to go into the tavern and let's have a look and see if we can maybe find a ransom broker. If we can't find a ransom broker, then we will just go into the castle and ask where. Ooh. Ooh, this is good. Uh, it's just a traveler. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's two companions here. Oh, yes. Join me. I don't care how much you are. Yeah, 2,500. Nice. And that's 400. Very good. Very good. Okay, so this is this is going well. This is going very well. As you can see, we now have a new companion. How good is she? Oh, wow. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, hello there. This is a special weapon. That's crazy. Right. Uh, as you can see, she needs to be wearing this dress, I believe, to actually use it. Is that is that true? So I will not be I will not be exchanging her armor, but I will want to give her a helm as soon as possible. Maybe give her a shield as well. But let's have a look at her stats. As you can see, she actually has really good throwing skill. So maybe if we can get some throwing weapons, that would be pretty good. But you can see here she has seven agility. I mean seven athletics and 22 agility. That is pretty crazy. So she's really fast. Wow. Okay. Really pleased about that. And now we are going to see what this girl's all about. Okay, so she's she's good at pole arms. She's actually good at pole arms. So we might want to give her a spear and maybe uh, maybe a horse or something like that. But at the moment, I don't know whether she has riding skill. Yes, she does. And she has 11 strength too, so she can actually wear the rusty chainmail. That's fantastic. But she has no weapons. So that's a big problem. That is a big problem. Actually, you know what? I'm not using this ring falchion at all so i might want to give that to her but I, I as she's much better at pole arms we should probably give her a pole arm right so let's give her a pole arm let's give her balanced cone head spear we could give her uh, yeah balanced cone head spear i think that's pretty good oh that's 8000 okay let's let's not give her that then let's give her let's give her the balanced double halberd 6700 okay yeah no let's let's not go give her that one then uh Yes, uh, what a difficulty. Isn't that such a difficulty? Okay, this is a little bit better. Okay, let's give her that. It's a bent, double-sided spear. I feel bad now. I feel bad for giving her such a terrible weapon. I mean, it's actually not even that bad, but it's... I just didn't want to spend 8,000 on a new companion that I had no idea about if she was actually going to be staying with us for much longer, because who knows, maybe she has a problem with someone, you know? So, her, you know, doing that is probably... It's probably fine, I guess. Anyway, let's go into the castle. He is actually here, so we can hopefully solve his problem. Who's this? Oh, okay. This is a claimant. That's fantastic. Okay, and that's his wife, I assume, or something. Maybe daughter. And let's have a look. Ah, uh, cast mind reading. Oh, why do I get a sudden headache? There must be a knot in your heart. Just speak it out. All right, let's do this. Let's help him. Oh, what? Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, I'm playing as Zhang Qing right now, so let's. Oh, hello. Okay. What? What? No, 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 no! Don't, 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 don't. Oh. I attempted to get out of the way. It did not work. Yes. Unfortunately, mind reading does have a cooldown, by the way, of about 24 hours. So we will have to do that and wait for it. Uh, well, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. We're getting some money, as you can see, from our rents here. And maybe if I see someone uh, running by here that we might want to attack, then we will do that. But uh, hopefully they're not going to declare war. We are now at war against the Jin, which is a bit of a... Maybe a bit of a problem? I'm actually unsure about that. Let's have a look. Is he still here? Yeah, you're still here. Fantastic. Am I injured? No, I'm not injured. Okay, so that's good too. Anyway, let's go in here and see if I can actually cast it on him again. Let's not be an absolute imbecile this time. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't do it yet. Ah, uh, almost. Almost. Let me, let's just wait until the afternoon then, I suppose. Oh, I just can't believe it. I can't believe that that happened. But uh, I, I guess I can. I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, that's a... That's a reference and a half, isn't it? If, if you know where that's from, leave it down in the comments. If you don't, then let's carry on. All right, so let's uh, cast mind reading. All right, let's do this. 
Okay, let's help him. All right, so I ha what do I have here? What's this? What is this? I'm f throwing stones? Why am I throwing stones? Okay, so do I have to duel? Yeah, I have to duel. So let's let's duel this duel, duel this fellow. Uh, do I have good polearm skill? <laughs> oh, I do have good polearm skill. What? That's crazy. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to have to deal with all these guys. Oh, 77 damage. Yeah. That's what you get. Yeah, there we go. There's another one. Fantastic. Okay, so it, it appears we have to basically just defeat all of these guys. And I think that's actually not even that bad. As you can see, we're actually doing really quite well. And as long as I don't get murdered by one of their pole arms, we should be absolutely fine in terms of a lance, I mean. Because lances are obviously kind of tricky for me to deal with. Ooh, this guy's actually using some defense. That's very rare. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> wow. You know... If, uh, if I wasn't so bad with pole arms usually, I would probably go through the agonizing, uh, agonizing stages of actually leveling it up. Because just how, look at how effective it is. I, I don't even know what his stats are. Can I actually have a look at it? Oh, I don't really want to look at his stats just in case I mess up the event. Do you know what I mean? You know, so if I look up the, you know, the character, character sheet or something, then it's probably going to you know, make it a little bit weird, but oh dear, this guy's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to be problematic. I can lance, I, I mean, I can couch lance at him, so maybe that would be an idea. Let's try it. Yep, there we go. That actually worked quite nicely. Who will rescue Lu Tang? Yes, who will? Uh, well, they're all going to die, let's face it. Okay, so, uh, Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, gotta be a bit careful. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, the reach on this thing is insane. Wow. Really nice. Gotta be a bit careful, though, because uh, these guys are also, you know, having lances and things like that. Okay, so... We'll attack him together. Oh, okay. So they're gonna attack me together now, maybe. Are they? No. Ah, oh, yes, they are attacking together. Oh, okay. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually really enjoying these uh, these little events here. Can you can you imagine? That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, so let me see if I can maybe do something here. Yep, there we go. He's dead. And now maybe I can do something here too. Yes, 91 damage. And a little bit more. Just a little bit more. I have a lot of HP, as you can see. 21 damage and it only took 10% of my... HP out, so I would assume I have about 200 HP then. Where are the... Uh, ah, this guy's going to be attempting to attack me now. Is there anyone else? No, it's just the one guy. Oh, I, went, I aimed for his head. Did you see that? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I surrendered to Song Jiang only recently. Oh, okay. Well, others may fear your stones, but they can't touch me. Actually, I'm not using stones right now, fellow. I'm actually just using my long pointy stick. And it's actually working remarkably well. Whoa, this guy, what? Look at how much HP he's... What? Are you serious right now? I have literally done like 500 damage to him right now. What a beast. What a beast. What, what? Do I actually have to use my stones against him? Maybe he can't be beaten by anything else. N no? Okay. <laughs> what? Is this... Wait a minute. This is, this is weird. Uh, okay, maybe they're actually going to come in and actually help me now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like our allies are actually coming in and helping. Because this guy is, uh, is not meant to die that easily, I suppose. And uh, we're now getting a couple of others to come in here and help us out. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay, fellows. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore. I have no idea what's happening. Everyone's just charging each other. Oh, look, please, please don't kill me. Uh, this th this would be awful. To fail it now would be absolutely disgusting. Really bad. Okay, so let me see if I can maybe do a little bit of couch lancing here. Yep, there's Lin Chong. Lin Chong himself has been eliminated. And uh, there we go. They've defeated 15 of our chieftains in a row. We'll lose face if we don't nab at least one lieutenant. Well, you have actually eliminated one. So nothing to worry about there, friends. 
Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, there we go. He's dead. Now let's see if I can lance against this guy, or at least couch him. Oh, couch him. Throw the sofa at him. Come on now. No, no, you're not going to shoot me in the face. I would appreciate it. Ooh, maybe you are. Uh, these guys are going to be pretty, pretty tricky, I think. I don't have a shield. Bear that in mind. I, I could use my stones. I am awful with this. I'm awful with these stones. I am absolutely awful with these stones. Why is he so good with stones? Why? Why? Why does he have to be good with stones? I don't know. I mean, does everyone wear wear glass houses? I was gonna say wear glass houses. Come on, come on, me. No, not wear glass houses. Does everyone does everyone live in glass houses? Otherwise, why would stones be so effective? Oh well, never mind. Let's have a look. Come on now. Let's see if I can maybe just yes. There we go. Okay, just just take him off his ho horse and then. Uh, See what we can do about it. Maybe I can just couch against him. I am... I, I, I gotta say, I'm actually pretty blown away by how detailed these encounters are. Because usually, you'd be like, oh, you know what? You know, it's gonna be a case of... You know, um... Oh, wow. They're actually all attacking us now. That's crazy. Okay. I think we should be fine. I think we should be absolutely fine. As you can see, our Zhao... Eagle veteran rangers are insane and are apparently murdering absolutely everything in their path. Pretty happy with that. Thank you very much. And uh, I think I think we're good. Where's the enemy enemy lord? Is he still alive? No. Yes, yes, he is still alive. There he is. Maybe I can take him up. Oh, no, no, almost. Get back here. Get back here, you... There we are. We took him out. <laughs> Oh, that is hilarious. I gotta say, really enjoyable. Really, really enjoyable. And it's amazing how, how, I don't know, it just has that, that greater depth that you don't expect. Do you know what I mean? So like, you're just doing regular, you know, kill these looters, kill the sea raiders and so on and so forth. And then all of a sudden you have this mind reading ability, which enables you to take control of the various lords in the past. So you basically, inhabit their bodies and resolve their their inner inner conflicts and things like that that is insane okay so as you can see uh oh yeah uh, yeah okay so there's a huge amount of uh text that i can't actually see here by the looks of things so you can just read that uh if you can this is chapter 70 in water margin as well right so uh what, what's what's going to happen now can i can i leave or yes I can there we go we've succeeded so now let us go into the castle and actually speak to him wow what an amazing encounter that is because because then even if you just gain the mind reading ability and you do the the initial thing where you're fighting with the uh, the cannibal guy you're just fighting with that guy and you think to yourself oh okay so you know that's that's all very well and good, you know. It's all cool to take it, take control of him and everything, and to have fun, you know, fighting fighting with him. But you think, oh, okay, so it's going to be kind of kind of the same thing going through all of these different encounters. But then you have this insane, like fifteen versus one duel against all against all of these lords. It's just insane. Wow, crazy. All right, so we have now gained relation with this fellow, and we also have featherless arrows. Featherless arrows. There we go. So if we want to become some kind of oh wow okay so that's that's a legendary weapon. That is the they are the stones that he was actually using in the uh, in the mind reading there. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. Uh you know what? You know what it you know what it kindly it kind of makes me want to do. It kind of makes me want to spec into uh, power throw. But you, you know what the problem with that is? Specking into power throw is going to make it so that I am absolutely useless. Because I'm really, really bad with thrown weapons. So that might not be a good idea. That might not be a good idea. But it's a legendary weapon. It's a legendary r weapon. It's just oh, fantastic. Really excited about that now. Anyway, uh, yes, leave me alone. Ah, the Jin Knights. Yes, very good. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching and for joining me, and I will see you next time.